Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Hot Rebel Trooper or Battle Pack and Snow Trooper Battle Pack from 2010, of course. So, so I'll start off with, with the one box entry I have for this one, uh, being on the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, of course. And the Lego and Star Wars logos and that Clone Trooper border from that time, and also from middle 2009, of course. This is the picture of the set that comes within, and age recommendation is 6 through 12. Set number 8083 has 79 pieces, and also build your army, which was a common thing for them, which of course they often mentioned there. An interesting thing with these boxes, and this common thing that happened with uh, boxes of sets at this time, 2010. At 11 is where it was like this rectangular but then suddenly then later on for some reason like a small square for some small square and although there are some people that are into collecting you know, that are about collecting and kind of like uh, getting multiples sealed for that reason but if anyone knows why they uh, did that kind of thing comment below but yeah And then on the back side of which these have both of or all the mini things included that border again and also both battle packs that there were in this wave and yeah. Oh hang on. And now on to the manuals of which as you see, the same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, kind of win on the online survey. And then add a Lego club, add for some 2009 uh, sets that there were. And then add for, uh, for a couple of Clone Wars sets that there were. And also some large advertisement for some other 2010 sets that there were at the time. And yeah. And both battle packs again, and all of the mini things included with this one, and all the pieces that come with the set and the last steps. And so now on to all the mini sticks included in both sets. So first off, we which have the like classic snow trooper, of which the uh, torso printing kind of common of earlier ones, and of course with this set you get two of obviously, and of course the. Uh, uh, mask bit of which with the with classic kind with the backpack attached stuck to it and, and of course with the more later ones got the ones that were just the masks and all but yeah and also do you get the uh, AT, AT driver uh, one which is torso printing done well and helmet piece of which with printings of which also done goodly and lift that up. Also, plain black headpiece, which I think, which of course I think all the stormtroopers and all should have, of course. And if, at least this torso, this uh, helmet printing, done all right for that. But at least they well improved a couple, few years after. Then next to which have Imperial Officer, of which. With the classic common face print of which, and not at only like prints, well, all of these figs of which, not at only like prints, of course, but, and of course, helmet piece, classic kind, and yeah. <coughs> and on to the uh, Rebel Trooper one, uh, to have about, uh, you get two of this uh, Rebel Trooper here. 
with that classic uh, helmet piece it would or let me showcase it here it is it has two spots to clip the visor onto of course so you can kind of vary it a little and of course a face print classic kind that we've seen a lot of times before and and torso printing also quite good for as it is and on to the other one of which same exact uh, torso printing but different colors for the arms of course and different color for the leg things and different face print of course but yeah and last of which we have a Zeb Senesica yeah which almost like most has common jumpsuit type printing whether it be for the snow speeders or x wings of course and also just like all these classic figs which where the visor is like printed right onto it and of course and the helmet piece of which quite good plenty of good printing for what it is at least until 2015 force awakens and they well improved that and of course this was shortly long before they did went to the extremes with a lot of good printing and dual molding of course and, and as you can see just a couple of which do have or some of these do have a back torso printing thing for that but also all of which not at all need double sided faces oh yeah indeed and also AT-80 driver, which kind of a slight bit missing from his helmet piece, which common thing with most figs, of course. So that's about it for all the mini figs included. And so now on to the sets themselves, starting with the uh, little speeder for the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack set, <coughs> which, as you see, quite simple and basic for what it is. But of course, since it's a battle pack vehicle, you don't expect much for it. And also, as for some things, of it, so like as for the front bit, which does have the classic jagged slope pieces on there of course both inwards and also on the sideways of course and also this this little seated area where which is enough where you can sit a single fig onto of course and of course why is off like that is probably so you can fit the backpack bit onto as well and also a couple little handlebars for it to hold on to the turret, obviously, and also as and of course has these uh, flick fire missiles above representing turns that go up and down and turn side to side, of course, and for this little inner section which has a tan tile piece in it. Also to note that there is supposed to be a classic uh, crate piece that goes in there, but I kind of dropped it somewhere, but I'll find it later, but yeah. And as for the uh, uh, center piece of it, as you see, a little spot to hold a blaster on, and also a single stud to rep or red stud to represent a button or something. And of course, one of the features is main feature is that has the classic uh, flick fire missiles, which was a common thing for the time, and of course with a a cheese slope above and good use of some of these uh, rounded brick curved bricks and rigid bricks of course and yeah and bottom part which does have those like rounded bottom pieces uh, which does maneuver quite well and yeah whoops and also was for the snow trooper pal pack get this other little speeder bike here also quite similar to most other speeder bikes we've gotten over time and also 
And of course, like most classic ones, do you get the like this little uh, hang on this little motorcycle or yeah motorcycle type back bit of which but modded to fit some things onto like all the of course you get the snowshoe pieces or snowshoe pieces to act as the landing gear and megaphone being a blaster and also a separate backpack piece as a cargo bit And also do have bow droid arms used as the handlebar type things, which also common of earlier ones, earlier speeder bikes. And of course, enough space to fit a mini fig onto and let him uh, hold on to, of course. And see, classic uh, odd slope piece, and also the two. Uh, triangular pieces held on by the old style lances that there are. And I guess that is it with the speeder bike set. And now, on to the little base section, which is pretty simple for what it is like. A couple of stuff, but on what on a 4x6 plate, like one section, you get a little spot to. Uh, to like put a cinnamon thing onto it and this little gear piece to push it up and down and also in the course the foot fire missile obviously and also it does have kind of an interesting build to it where it's like two in one or two put together into one and then yeah and also other side which a couple of clips to put blasters on too and also another jagged slope there and on the other side a larger jagged slope but which has some like radar ish type looks onto it but I think it was probably used in like city sets and things yes. but although would have been a little different if it were made nowadays but yeah but at least the newer 2022 uh Snowtrooper Battle Pack has done a little bit better as just a bit of where it's just a, a lot of white slopes just representing the rest of Hoth and yeah. So now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for for what they are. Like, of course, you get both uh, army builders from Hoth, or enough to expand your like Hoth display, of course. And also, one of our only times at getting Zev, obviously. I'm not sure if he was in sets before, but I'm pretty sure he might have, or at least came in sets a little bit later, and also interesting how there's an AT-AT uh, driver in a battle pack, although I think there should could have been like just a single stormtrooper or something, but yeah, but the builds of which are uh, quite good for what they are, like do provide plenty of white, so they're like white piece uh, parts packs, of course, but yeah. And also, as for the main prices of which, or size per price, uh, fair for the times, like 79 pieces for like 10 bucks or so, but but still quite good for what it was, but yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd go ahead and pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.